Hey guys, it is September 1st and I just got back from work and these are the things I picked up. So I picked up Fairy Tale. I picked up Natsu um, just to put it on my lanyard. Picked up some of my hero rings. I've been eyeing these for, for the past week or so and I decided to finally get it. It's kind of like subtle, you know? It's not like too in your face. And then I got these two pins of my hero. So we have Deku and then we have Mideo and Eri. So cute. I'm glad I found them because I'm going to put them together. And then the last one, I got a Yamaguchi pin. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hi guys, it is September 8th. And, um, I got these things off after work. Yeah, I also got these two little pins. I got um, this one of JJK and this one of um, Yuji. Last time I saw Megumi, I should have bought him when I saw him, but I didn't. So, that's kind of my fault. <clears throat> and then I saw this little Pakugo figure. And I was like, I'm not going to buy it. But then, I ended up buying it. But yeah, let's open it up. And if I sound weird, I am sick, so I'm recovering slowly. It's just change of seasons, nothing major. Also, with these figures, does anybody know what this means? Like, A and B, like, I know they're, like, the only difference I see is the coloring of the character. Like, it's more vibrant, like, the more green is visible, like, but I don't know what that means. So... Is it something huge? I don't- I don't know. <clears throat> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would already be built. So now that I have Bakugo, I guess I'm just gonna try to get um, Deku and, um, I'm not sure what character they have done. I know they've done Deku and, um, why am I blanking on his name right now? Um, 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 why am I having a hard time? Um, Todoroki, yes. I don't know why I was literally struggling. So here he is. Sorry for the lighting. The lighting is pretty bad right now because it's nighttime. Um, this is like hours ago. Like I got home hours ago, and I spent all day resting. So yeah. Oh, he's kind of cute. I never realized, like, why does Bakugo have these in his hair? Like, what is the meaning? Like, it just reminds me of the one scene. I'm not sure if it's animated or not, because I've only seen up to season three, I think. But, um, he, like, he threw one of these at Deku, and, like, it literally got stuck on his head or something like that. That was just so funny, but, yeah, he's so cute. Look at him. I'm not sure where I'm going to put him, but he's going to go somewhere. So, yeah, that's all I got from Hot Topic today. I did stop by Box Lounge, so tempted to buy this um, Deku and Todoroki figure, but I didn't. So, I'm trying not to spend as much money as I should. So, yeah. Hi guys, it's September 22nd. I just came back from work. And I got this Jujutsu Kaisen sweater. So, yeah, this is currently the only sweater they had and um i bought this i bought one and my co-worker bought another one so we can be matching and yeah um I've, they've been having a little kind of quite a few of jujutsu kaisen stuff they just recently came out with a mahito pin enamel pin and i'm just waiting for um more jujutsu, jujutsu oh my god more jujutsu kaisen stuff so yeah this is the only thing i got from hot topic um, hi guys, so my Ami Ami package from last month, I think it was supposed to arrive, finally came in, or was it this month? No, it's from last month. 
and I finally arrived and shipping was kind of crazy for some reason so yeah anyways I got some pins from Hot Topic got Suki, Gojo, and then this pansexual flag one and that's pretty much it so I'll open this up and we'll see what's in here because I definitely forgot what's in here <laughs> Um, so the first thing I pulled out is these Tokyo Revengers tattoo stickers. I don't even know why I got two. I think is I wanted to see what, um, these tattoos looked like on me, especially the Draken one. I do want to get, like, a, a Tokyo Revengers tattoo. I just don't know when. And it will be my first tattoo ever, so, like, I don't know how much it'll be, but... Yeah, so these are the tattoos. We have like the Valhalla one. Well, okay. I'm like, why is there a W? I think there, there's a, some sort of explanation for that, but yeah, these are the tattoos. These, oh, that one looks so nice. Okay, so I don't have enough space in my desk right now to be filming a decent tour of these, but I got this. Takamichi keychain. Um, this was originally for someone else, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna sell it off because that was not originally mine. And then I have this Mikey little standee. I think I'm gonna sell a couple of these. Um, and I have Draken, just because I don't. Um, I decided just to collect Chifuyu with Baji together and. Takamichi if I wanted to. Um, then we have Chifuyu. Baji. Mitsuya. So cute. Oh, I don't know. I might keep them. I don't know yet. But I know for sure Chifuyu and Baji are staying. Then I have this like um, Genshin Impact acrylic um, like month standy. So that's that's really cute. Did I say Genshin Impact? Yeah. So yeah, it has um, Klee, um, Chi Chi, Paimon, Xiao, Zhongli, and Venti. Oh, that's just so cute. But yeah. Okay, moving on to other things, I guess. Tokyo Revenger related. I got this Mitsuya plushie. I think I'm gonna for sure sell Mitsuya plushie because I love Mitsuya, but he's like not my favorite i love him like i love him a lot then we have this mikey one which i'm also planning on selling maybe and then i got chifuyu obviously i'm gonna keep chifuyu because he's best boy and then moving on from tokyo revengers i got some hitalia stuff you guys please don't come for me with hitalia i have always fall into my hitalia phase like once or every two years, so I got England for UK. He's oh, my favorite. I love him. I had to, like, I had some obsession with him. And then I got US, United States. On, like, these two have to be together, like, no matter what. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the Italian part of it. So, originally, I was going to show these, but they're, like, wrapped. I thought they were going to be like in clear bags for some reason, but I got this Katekyo Hitman Reborn Xander characters. You can see the characters on here. I'm not going to take them out because I want to free up my Katekyo Hitman Reborn shelf first and then put these on there. So maybe I'll show you guys in like one of my manga tours when that comes around. I don't think it'll be anytime soon since I want to make one before I get a new shelf. So for the next one for sure you guys will see it but these are the characters with their designated sanyo characters and the last thing that came in was finally my lucy figure this was like it was delayed at like a month so she's finally here so i'm gonna open it open her up quickly i'm not gonna do like an unboxing like i did for natsu and then i'll put her with my natsu figure and we'll see what she looks like so i'm so excited so before that, I will show you what she looks like. That's one of the sides. The back. And then the other side, as you can see, you can put her with Natsu. So I'm going to do that. 
And I'm just so excited. I've been waiting for her for a while now, so I'm happy that she's home. So there she is. She's with Happy. She's so cute. And that's her standy. If you want to not put her with Natsu. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys what she looks like with Natsu. So there she is with Natsu. She is being covered by this flame, which I'm a little upset. Uh, I w she would have been kind of cute on this side. But yeah, that's what she looks like. She's so adorable. I love it. Just don't know. I wanted to put her with Natsu, but like the flame is covering her. And like, I don't know. I'll just keep it like this for now. And then if it really bugs me in the future, when I have like my little um, fairy tale um, shelf, if that ever happens, maybe I'll change it up. But yeah, that's what she looks like. And this is all I got from Ami Ami. So yeah, it came in a really huge box and it was pretty light. I thought it was going to be heavy, but it's not. So yeah, she is so cute and happy as well. They, they all look so good. Hi guys, it's October 1st and I just received a package from City Japan. This arrived so quickly. This arrived like within a day, like in a day and a half. Like by the time I got a notification that my item was shipped, it was like already in the United States. And I was like, what the heck? So City Japan and DHL always come through for me. So yeah, I'm so excited. Oh. Okay. So I guess I'll start with this one first. As you can see, you can see Itadori. And then the other one is supposed to be. Oh. Oh. Okay. I thought it was like another Itadori, but it's just two Gojos. I did not know that what okay i'll i'll unpack i'll like open them up real quick also sorry by the way it's film like if you could see my desk right now <laughs> it's a disaster but here we have um yuji oh my god he's so cute and i did order the rest i hope they come out with like more characters in this um Position and this like chibi form. Oh my god, they're so cute. I did order Nabara and Megumi. And then here is the Gojo one. Sorry for like the glare. I'm trying not to show my face. Like, oh my god, so cute. I didn't know it came with two. So I was pretty shocked. I thought it was like I thought it was like another Yuji. I was like, no way I bought a double. So it's so adorable. I'm gonna open them right now. Okay, so I finally opened them and then Oh my god, Yuji is so fucking cute. Oh my god, I should not be cursing. He's so adorable. And then we have Kojo. With his mask on, I'll put um his other face on or his head on. This is his other head. Looks such a pretty man. And here he is with his other head or face or whatever. Freaking cute! I I'm like I'm gonna put it put them on my shelf and they're gonna look so so good. So here it is. I am. That's gonna change in the future. It's not gonna stay like that forever. But here they are. So cute. Oh my gosh. They're literally so adorable. I love them so much. Okay, hi guys. It is October 2nd, I think, and I got back from the mall. And I forgot to mention this, but like the day after I okay, the day I I got my Ami Ami order, this came on the next day. 
and this was also from Ami Ami. It's a Hitalia like plushy. I don't know much about it. I just saw it and I bought it, and it's so cute. It came in a pretty huge box for such a small. It came in a box within a smaller box, and then this came. So it's really soft, really cute. So I love it so much. And then um, from Hot Topic, I got these two um, Orin High School Host Club like um, blind pins. So I hope I don't get a double. Sorry for my little baby brother. And from Hot Topic, because me and my coworker wanted a match, so um, I also bought the Attack and Titan hoodie. Ignore my messy room. I feel like these have been like in like i remember owning one of these because i remember i went to a party and then they were asking me where i got my attack and titan sweater and i think i got it from like amazon or like ebay or something like that my mom bought it for me actually so yeah i that like it was pretty small and i was like a child back then but yeah this is worth it love it can't wait to wear it i feel like every og fan would know about these sweaters because come on so lovely and the texture it's really really soft as well so love the, love it and so recently my mall i think since it's october 2nd i think yesterday october 1st they just opened their first anime store so i got asta from black clover i want to say black butler there's so many like um animes with the word black well i think i don't know so yeah i got asta i was really conflicted between getting asta or muriel because i really like muriel from my hero but i decided to get asta i don't know why <laughs> Um, I've only read like two volumes of Black Clover and I really did like it. So I'm just waiting for volume four to come back in stock and hopefully I can read up to like volume five or six that I have so far. And yeah, he was $35. Um, I feel like a lot of the figures were like a really great price. Um, I'm more used to like the $26, $27, but I think it was fine. Um, yeah, so I might go back tomorrow after work or something like that to see what they have because it was pretty busy since it, just, it was a Saturday, but yeah. Um, I will open him up and let you guys see what he looks like. And as well, I will open up my, um, if I can find it, my um, Orange High School Host Club pins and see what I got. Before I forget, I think I didn't show you guys, but I did get an Obara pin, so yay! I will put her on my lanyard, and hopefully they come up with a Megami pin soon, because I want <laughs> Megami on my lanyard. And, yeah, she's so cute. Also, I want to say I'm so sorry for the, like, crappy setup. I've been filming on my bed, and it's just a mess, and my desk is a mess and everything is just a mess and i'm sorry this looks so hideous and not aesthetically pleasing so i'm just sorry but i am gonna show you um who i got so i got buddy senpai and haruhi and i'm just glad they're not a doubles it looks like um some paint is missing but that's that's fine i could care less but yeah oh my god they're so cute especially the haruhi one i love the colors on it and i'm not sure if i showed you the back this is how the back looks like oh honey senpai looks so cute so yeah love them all right so here is asta is this color palette always like that he looks so um plain not plain i mean his sword is like very like flimsy but like his color palettes are consists of like browns and like light tone like brownish colors or like brown and just like i haven't seen <laughs> the anime so like i wouldn't know i only like know what he looks like like from the covers but like is that his color palette because if that is it's just too I don't know. It's like 
because they're all the same color and it's just like he doesn't pop out if that makes sense he, he doesn't look like especially his skin tone is very similar to his hair color so like yeah all right yeah i feel like if i paint his stand his standy then maybe he will pop out more but i don't know what color it would be i feel like it, it would look good with his eye color since this eye color is much more brighter than the rest he looks dull that's that's the word he looks very dull so but i but i like him and then he's literally on his butt cheek <laughs> but yeah oh my god yeah he's not bad for like 30 dollars plus it's from like the cheapest like brand presto um figurine so yeah he's not bad but i want to say he's like the best one compared to other brand presto um figurines that i have but yeah that's how he looks like hi guys it is october 4th i just received this package the, this package is from Bai, so I'm excited. Okay, so I originally saw this on eBay, and it was like over $100. And I was almost willing to spend that money for just such a small thing. But thank god I saw it on Bai. Like, I looked everywhere for like a cheaper price, and Bai was it. So, Bai always kind of comes through. So, yeah. Let's see, that looks like an invoice, so I'll leave that. And it's this. It's a Rose King's Funeral Procession Visual Collection, so I don't know what that means. And there was, like, nothing online about this. So I'm assuming this came with, like, monthly princess issues, like the magazine. That is literally so gorgeous. I love this one so much. Okay. Oh my god, okay, I know like these are like early Richard designs and he looks like he gives me like Edward scissor hand vibes, if you know what I mean. Look at him. Henry. Oh my god, so cute. Kate's B. I guess these are like questions with the author with Ayakano. Like a little QA. Oh my god, look at that. Like their workspace and the materials that they use. And on it, like I think it's their Instagram or their Twitter, they post a lot about like flowers and stuff, and it's really nice. Love day. It's Catesby. Is that his dad? Oh my god, it's his dad, Richard the Second. And it's Henry and Warwick. Let's see Warwick and Richard. Oh, that is so cute. But yeah, um, this is like nothing to like geek about, but like, you guys know how much I love Requiem, and the trailer for Requiem just came out, so I'm so freaking excited. Like, I shed tears. I shed tears. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so excited to add this to my collection of Requiem of the Rose King. It's coming along pretty slowly. There's some things I still want to get, but. We're still pretty expensive because 
it was like a limited time and i don't know when this one came out i'm assuming like a couple of years ago but yeah it's really nice we get to see him some art um that we already seen or i've seen in the art book but these ones are it's like it's pretty thin so it's not like good quality but like i love i love this and I want to um, translate this to see what it means. So that'll be another day. Oh yeah, that's all I got today. Hi guys, I think it's October 7th. Yeah, it's October 7th. I got home. I did work today, but after work, I stopped by the anime store with one of my friends. We got some ramen. So it's a cute little date for us. So... I will show you what I got. So I got these little like gacha um, toys. If you guys don't know what gacha toys, they're like, I, I don't know how much they are in Japan, but we don't have many here. Um, yeah, so these were like $4 at my anime store and they were Jujutsu Kaisen themed ones. If I can get them open. And yeah, um, I feel like our the anime store at my mall is doing really, really great. So I hope they stay there permanently because now people are not embarrassed to say they like anime and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I ever was embarrassed to like anime. I was like a proud weeb or I don't know art. Is like weeb still a word? Like, is that like offensive? I don't know. It's been a while, so. Um, a taco. Okay, I can just say a taco instead. So yeah, it's these cute little. Um, I got. I wanted to get um Nawara, but I didn't get Nawara. Um, the guy told us that Gojo was gone. Like, he's completely gone. Because that's like the one number one character people like a lot. So yeah, I got um, Yuji, Megami, and Gojo. So we did end up finding Gojo. Um, which I was surprised because the guy said that he was gone. But he isn't, so you're just going to watch me struggle opening up the gacha with tape. And so yeah, the anime store has been doing really great in my opinion. Not sure if everyone at, um, who likes anime knows if it's open or if we have an anime store because we did have one years ago, but um, I think it closed down because it was just a little too expensive, which is, um, you know, reasonable. Um, but I don't like I don't know the, the the prices for this anime store is just really great like. I would assume, like, for a Ben Presto uh, figure, it would have been, like, 50 bucks because of, like, shipping and everything like that. But it's, like, it's, it's like, 30, 30 to $35. So, I don't think it's expensive in my opinion. So, yeah. So, I guess I'll open up Gojo first. The only, I wanted to put this on my lanyard, so... That's kind of one of the reasons I got it. And it comes with a little... Oh my god, he's so funny. He's smiling. He looks so funny. Then we'll open up Megami. I might go back and get Nomara. I could get Sakuna, but I don't like Sakuna, you guys. Like, I don't know how people send for Sakuna. He's so cute. The only... There's this figure. I think it's by a favorite GK. And man's is showing his like thigh or something like that. That figure, I would buy it, but I don't have the money for it. And then we have a little Yuji. It looks so funny, and they're so cute, and they have like a little bell. So yeah, I don't know who to put on my lanyard. I might put Gojo just because it would be funny. Kind of want to put this on my phone. But, oh my god, they're so cute. For $4, that's pretty great. So, I'm gonna go back tomorrow and just get Nobara. Because she is cute. Like, look at her. 
but yeah that's all i got today hello guys it is march 17th and i've got some stuff from hot topic so i will be showing you what i got first i'm gonna show you my lanyard because i forgot to show this but i got sorry for the background noise and i got this gojo pin so my bestie showed me this and i was like i need that and i was hoping it didn't sell out and it didn't so i got gojo waiting for more anonymy merch um and then before that i got this kakashi figure for my um cousin his birthday is a from in a month from now but i told him like and i got him also an asta figure i was gonna get him something else from the um anime store that i just recently opened up but they didn't have quite a good stuff so i got this kenma pin like literally he spins get to it kenma and then i got as you can see these are double uh one for me and one for my other cousin my younger cousin i felt bad for getting something for the oldest cousin because i don't know that would be like unfair of me and if you live in a mexican household like you would know or like any hispanic household and i got these two pins for also for the younger cousin we kind of like the similar stuff but we kind of have different aesthetics at the same time so and then i got this black butler pouch i'm gonna put my art supplies in here so the so i can carry like my little watercolor um if i wanted to and also from hot topic i got hair dye because i really really want to dye my hair but i want to get a haircut before i dye it so got these two i've never tried arctic fox so i don't know how that works as i was saying before i got cut off i have never used arctic fox before i've used like a manic panic and like this other semi-permanent um hair dye so i'm not sure how that's gonna turn out but i'm excited I'm not sure when i'll dye my hair but i'm excited for that and yeah that's basically my haul for today i feel hi guys it is october 28th um so yeah um i went to the mall a couple of days ago to watch venom it was really good loved it and then i stopped by hot topic and box lunch so this is from box lunch and it's a cute little yuji pin so i can't wait to put him on my lanyard it's so adorable and then i got these two pins not really anime related but i got ghost face you like scary movies too and these like cute mushroom ones i've been wanting this pin for like a while and i was like okay we need to go hot i was talking to my friend i was like we need to go hot topic because if i do not have this pen by the end of this month i will literally riot um kind of dramatic but i do have this sticker that hot topic sells as well i just wanted the pin <laughs> as well so i'm glad it was there hi guys it is october 29th and i just got back from work so during my break i went with my friends to this anime store or to the anime store that's in my mall so um we both got um this tokyo revengers chief chifuyu um sticker and chifuyu is our favorite character so that's kind of um i was not expecting that and then we have this like keychain thing it's a mystery and i actually ended up getting kazutora we were both trying to uh, manifest to get chifuyu but none of us got chifuyu so i actually got kazutora and she got baji but she doesn't like baji and i don't mind baji so she literally we technically traded but she took it for me which i don't really mind so because i like a lot of the tokyo revengers characters and then the last figure the figure i got was levi i'm not i don't think i've ordered this hopefully not um i don't know if it was like available or on ami ami i have to check um but yeah i got levi and if you guys don't know levi is honestly one of my favorite characters from attack on titan so i i just had to get it and for 35 is pretty such a good price in my opinion i feel like it could have been worse so i hate when they do this kind of stuff where they put like 
the box is huge but like this is all that's in it so this is what he looks like i'm sorry for the bad um lighting it is already dark outside so and um my lights do not do it justice but yeah he's so handsome oh my god and in their black suits like oof really nice but yeah this is what i what i got from the anime store